Welcome to this video about building our own image classifier uh, by using ML.NET's model builder. We will build uh, an application that uh, functions like this application here from Microsoft Azure, uh, where you can uh, provide uh, the link to your image and then uh, it is getting analyzed. We will not uh, analyze it uh, with so many different, uh, different things. We'll just classify it. Uh, either it is a skyline or a residential area. And then we will check the application here. That's the, the, that's the skyline. That's a residential area. Yeah, you, you get the idea. So uh, first I'm adding the MLNet uh, models. I'm doing this by uh, using the, the model builder. So image classification, uh, local. Let's go to data. Now, When you upload uh, the images, it's very important that you have the, the root folder and then the, the subfolders. And the subfolders uh, have to be named exactly as you want the, the label to be named. So I have named them Skyline and Residential. So the output of the model will be Residential or Skyline. Yeah, let's train our model. And we can do that. Uh, it, it can train it for, for itself. So we can here uh, write the markup. I start with a label, uh, enter URL of picture to be analyzed. Now, of course, I have to make an input field. I have to bind it to a string. I call it a image URL. <clears throat> the bind event will be on input so that with every keystroke uh, that the binding is uh, renewed. And I give it a bit of uh, margin at the bottom. And here we will have the image just setting the, the source to the image URL. I'm styling it a bit, uh, just meaning that I'm defining the max height as 400 pixel. So yeah, that when the user downloads a very big picture that it doesn't blow up the, the whole application. And I also set a clause of display block so that the button that I'm going to define here will be on a new, on a new line. And here I'm just going to say check uh, if skyline or residential area. Uh, yeah, I also have to tell you that I'm using the preview version, so .NET 5, because with the ML.NET model builder in .NET Core 3.1, sometimes I ran into issues. So if you run into an issue, maybe just migrate or maybe just like make a new project in .NET 5 and in the release candidate version, and then maybe it will go away. Button success, and then yeah, also margin a bit at the top. So, and of course, when we trigger this button or when we click this button, we want to trigger a method. Uh, this method will set the result string, which will be of course the result of the, of the uh, classification. Therefore, we need an HTTP client because we want to first download the image. That's very important. Uh, ML.NET can only work with downloaded image, so if only with uh, images in our local file system, uh, yeah, which is, is also intuitive. But, so therefore, we need the HTTP client. Now, because the HTTP client all, only has defined asynchronous method methods, we need to mark this uh, method as asynchronous call it uh, download, I could just call it analyze image, analyze image, define a parameter, which will be the URI. Now, just wait. So as I said, when we want to call an asynchronous method, we have to await it. Uh, we don't have to await it, but if we want to await it, we have to mark the, the method as, as async. In, in this case, we are, we are using a Lambda, so we have to, to mark the Lambda. Lambda is async. Now here we can call await, analyze image, and here pause the image URL. 
Now, as I've told you, I, we have to download the image and there are different ways. Uh, one of them, we can just download it uh, into a stream. So we'll wait, HTTP, get stream async, and here pass the URI. Uh, now, why is it? Okay. Now, uh, we have to store it in our local file system. Uh, therefore, I'm defining here an image path and to simplify it a bit, I'm just expecting an object that implements iWebHost environment. And on this object, I can call the web root path. Now using string interpolation and the verbal team uh, sign here, and I say analyzed images, which will be a folder that I'm creating now. And the name of the image will just be a new GUI, so it's yeah, very random. And then here, the file extension JPEG. So yeah, of course, it won't only, will only work with, with such files. Then in here, I have to create the, the subfolder, analyzed images. Great. Now, we have a stream. We want to copy the stream into a file stream. Uh, I can create a file stream very easy by just calling file dot create and then passing it the, the image path. Now I am awaiting the copying of the stream to the file stream. And now we are done with the file stream. So I'm just going to call uh, dispose async because uh, otherwise maybe we would uh, have two uh, writes yeah, two reads also on the same uh, stream, and then yeah, it, it will blow up. And because I'm not using a using statement, I have to do it here manually. Uh, now we have seen that our model is complete. Evaluate at projects. Great. So as you see, it's very, very cool that Microsoft uh, provides uh, this service for us. Uh, so it's very easy to develop our own, uh, yeah, I mean, you can argue, is it our own, is it our own model? No, maybe not. Uh, no, certainly not. It's the model from Microsoft, but we can use it however we want to. I'm just going to reformat it here. Okay, so now it's reformatted. Uh, here, more input, model input, yeah, I copied two. So, now the model input, we have to set one property, which is the ima image source. And that's the, the path to our local, uh, to our local uh, image where we have uh, yeah, stored it or saved it. Now we can, can predict it. And OK, I'm going to get a name conflict, result, result, and just go, uh, uh, rename it result output. Now I have to set the result string. Uh, this now is maybe not that intuitive. Uh, the first thing which is very intuitive, I can just go to result output and here display the, the prediction, which will either in this case be a residential or skyline. But I also want to display the, the possibility that we think uh, it is. And this is not, uh, in my case, as a, like my opinion, not that intuitive. Resi I'm starting here with residential, and that's because here in our data, the first label is residential. And the possibility that it is residential is model output, our result output, score, which is, which is a collection uh, of type float. Also, it is a, yeah, it is an array uh, with, with floats stored in it. Now, zero, zero will be the possibility for residential, and one will be the possibility for skyline. Uh, so just so that that's the thing that I feel is I think it's not that too intuitive that we have to like programmatically go into the score, but yeah, whatsoever. The the, the rest is just great, so I can live with that. Now it should work.
And uh, by the way, I have the, the pictures that I will use now. I don't have them in the, the picture that I've trained the model with. So. Okay. Now the path to be analyzed, maybe I have still still. Oh. Yeah. Uh, where are they? So we see the picture. The first uh, one is always uh, slow. I think it's because of the just-in-time compilation of the whole thing. But now it looks really slow. Uh, what's happening? Did I click the button? Ah, yeah. I don't even display the result, yeah, of course. Alert, alert info, and here the result. But uh, the thing, uh, yeah, you will, uh, you will see it too. The first one, the first try, it's always by far the slowest. And then afterwards, then the model is really fast. Uh, so now I've copied, yeah. Okay, skyline, so yeah, now the, the result is skyline, uh, possibility that it's residential, uh, yeah, pretty much zero, possibility that it's skyline 98%. So it's the, it's a desired uh, output. Now I try it with the residential. Now you see it's way faster, the second time it's way faster. Residential areas, uh, it's, it's the output, residential, uh, yeah, 93%, skyline, uh, 6%. Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much for your attention.